Hi everyone, this is Sitlali with the Michigan Movement and I want to give you an update on what has happened since the last video that I did. After a few exchanges with a representative from the American Latino Museum, at first they had blocked us from attending the town hall. Then we, after we refused to have a phone conversation with them, that person said that we were incapable of having a civil discussion and that due to the hateful message of our organization that we would be blocked from attending. We continued to have exchanges to the point where that person was able to um, set up a meeting as we had suggested with in person with the CEO of the American Latino Museum, who is Estuardo Rodriguez. That morning on Friday, December 6, 2013, uh, the director, the co-director and other members of the Mexica movement met with Estuardo Rodriguez. And about an hour after an hour of letting him know exactly where we were coming from, telling him exactly where we were against this museum. And again, not only because of the term Latino that it's being used to describe this museum, but the content that it would have. We, uh, all of us in the organization have read the report, which is the final report to the president, which is a basic outline introduction to what the museum is all about. There is no mention of our people. There is no mention of the genocide. There is no mention of any of the atrocities committed by the Spanish speaking Europeans. It's basically a glamorization of Spanish speaking Europeans in this continent since 1492. And so after we met with him, we came to the agreement that he would let us speak for the last five minutes of the town hall. So we, the organization, we accepted that and we attended the uh, American Latino Museum and uh, the American Latino Museum Town Hall, which was at USC, which was from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Basically, a lot of uh, people attended there that were professors, scientists, these uh, known, um, they used to be Chicanos, but now they're calling themselves Latino, right? Artists and scientists and all this. So we attended. And as he had promised, we were given the last five minutes and we, which, which the statement that was read was by Olin Tezcatlipoca and I also read uh, half of that statement and we tell them exactly our demands, exactly our point of views and exactly outline everything historically why the term Latino is wrong, not only the term, but the content of this museum is white supremacy. And so we talked about that. We recorded it. It was on live stream. And we in the organization have produced a couple of videos that I will be attaching to this video to let you know and you could be able to see everything that happened. And we got our points across. We got our points across demanding that this museum not be built. And if it will be built, that they should call it for what it really is, which is the Museum of the Spanish Speaking Europeans in America. And that they should talk about the atrocities committed by those Spanish speaking Europeans and that they should be truthful in the telling of that history. And if our people are not going to be represented, don't even uh, mention us because obviously we have nothing to do with the so-called Latinos. So we read our demands. It was live streamed. It went down in history. We documented this because this was very historical. This is a national museum. This is a national museum by the Smithsonian Museum, which will be um, equivalent to the African American Museum that they're building now on um, the actual place in Washington. So this is a historical taking, undertaking of what they're doing. And we in the Mexica movement, since we heard of this idea, since we heard of the idea of the American Latino Museum, we have been protesting it. And if you guys have remember a few months ago, we started making videos and posters and all that. Well, because we read the report and we see for ourselves that we are again being attacked by the Cuban gusanos who control Spanish speaking media. This is a celebration and a glamorization of Spanish speaking Europeans on this continent. Basically, it's the Spanish Europeans telling the, the Nordic Europeans, the English speaking Europeans, look, this is what we did and this is what we've established here before you came here. And obviously the division amongst those Europeans, right? The Spanish speaking and the English speaking Europeans. But that has nothing to do with us. It has nothing to do with what happened to us as an indigenous people, as a Nicantelaca people. So uh, I invite you to check out our videos. I invite you to our campaign. We will continue this campaign against 
against the American Latino Museum. And we are saying if it's gonna if you're gonna make this museum, don't call it Latino. Why don't you call it the Spanish Museum of White Supremacy of the Americas? Or call it for what it is. It's a Spanish museum. It is. It has nothing to do with our people. We are more than 85% of the population that make up the so-called Latinos, and we are not being represented. The actual term of Latino, historically, as we show in our documentation, was created to exploit our people financially, culturally, everything. This is about the Spanish uh, Cubanos, the Criollos, the Gusanos, who took power, right, and who became instant citizens, and they completely took over Spanish-speaking media and created a term that would benefit them, an umbrella term that they created so that they could over, um, completely take over all the Mexican, Central American, Native American, Nicantlaca, uh population and demographics, marketing, all of that. So we in the Michigan movement, we've been protesting this term. We will continue protesting this term as well as the term of Hispanic. And since the 80s, we have been denouncing colonialism. We have been educating our people on the actual truth of these terms. And we will not dilute our message. We will not back down. We will continue our campaign against the American Latino Museum. We will continue our, our outreach into our community. And we will continue educating the world on the truth behind this museum. And stated in their uh, report, their final report to the president, it is written there word by word that this is a complete emphasis on the Spanish-speaking Europeans. No mention of indigenous people, no mention of the crimes, no mention of the genocide, none of that. And our history is being hidden and is being ignored once again by a federal institution. And we will have no tolerance for such a racist act. So check out our videos. I will be attaching the final report to this video. I will be attaching the video that we've produced that shows you exactly what happened at Town Hall. And basically, our, the, we read the statement to the actual Town Hall to the people that were there. And we will continue our campaign. So check out our, our videos. Check out our, our YouTube videos. Check out our Facebook. And check out the statement that we did. Thank you very much for watching. This is an update on our campaign against the American Latino Museum. My name is Titlali from the Mexica Movement. Thank you very much.